In this video, I'm going to cover some ACT problems that deal with proportions. So this one says, Sarah's favorite recipe calls for six cups of milk for nine servings. Sarah will modify the recipe by using eight cups of milk and increasing the other ingredients proportionally. How many people will this modified recipe serve? All right, so for this one, we need to set up a proportion. So if six cup of milk serves nine people, six over nine, that's gonna be proportional to eight cups of milk that will serve X number of people. Now, in order to solve the proportion, we need to do a cross multiplication where we multiply the diagonals together and set them equal to each other. So six times X or six X equal to eight times nine. And then eight times nine is 72. So now we have six X is equal to 72. And when you get the X by itself, you divide both sides by six. So then X is equal to 12. So the new recipe requires eight cups of milk Proportionally, that will serve 12 people now instead of nine. So this next one says, a study showed that three out of five doctors recommended drinking eight glasses of water a day. Given that 375 doctors recommended drinking eight glasses of water a day, how many did not recommend that? So again, we need to set up a proportion. So if it's three out of five that recommend it, we can say three to five, and that three is gonna to correlate to 375 doctors over X. X would be the total number of doctors. So once we set up that proportion, we can do the cross multiplication. We're gonna have three times X or three X equal to five times 375. So that'll give us 3x is equal to 1875. Then divide both sides by 3. And then we get x is equal to 625. Now that's our bottom of our fraction, which is going to be the total number of doctors surveyed. So we got to take the 625 minus the 375. And that gives us 250. So there was 250 doctors that did not recommend drinking eight glasses of water a day. So there's another way to solve this problem. So let me show you that. So another way of setting this up is putting three over two. So basically three recommended it and two did not. The three correlates to 375. And the X would be how many did not recommend it. Again, we do a cross multiplication, 3x is equal to 2 times 375. That gives you 3x is equal to 750. Then you divide both sides by 3. And x equals 250. So either way is correct. Uh, the second method, you had to do less work because you didn't need to subtract anything at the end. So either of those two methods would work. Now this problem says, on a map of the United States, one fourth of an inch represents three actual miles. Two attractions in the city are six inches apart. How many miles are they actually apart? Okay, again, we set up our proportion, one quarter of an inch, is the three miles. A six inches is to how many actual miles? Again, we cross multiply. One fourth X equals three times six. Or one fourth X is equal to 18. Now with a fraction, we don't need to divide by a fraction, we can multiply 
by the reciprocal, which is 4 over 1. So multiply both sides by 4 over 1, or just 4. That'll give you x equal to 72. Okay, so 6 inches on the map will correlate to 72 actual miles. So this one reads that a local high school, one of eight students participates some way in the school's athletic teams, and three out of five who participate some way in the athletic teams are on the honor roll. If there are 2,800 students at the high school, how many of the people that participate some way in the athletic teams are on the honor roll? All right, so to solve this one, we're gonna take the 2,800 we know that one out of eight students are participating in sports. So you multiply that by one over eight. That'll give you how many students are participating in sports. Now the people who participate in sports, three out of five of them are on the honor roll. So we just multiply this by three over five. So we multiply these all together, 2,800 times one eighth times three fifths, that'll give us how many people are on the honor roll that are also on a sports team. So you put that in the calculator, you get 210. All right, so 210 are in sports and also on the honor roll. So this problem reads, what value of X makes the proportion below true? So again, all we have to do is do our cross multiplication. So we have 36 times 8 plus x equal to 8 times 90. Then if I distribute the 36, I get 288 plus 36x equal to 720. Then I'm going to subtract 288 from both sides. It's going to be 36x equal to 432. Then to get the x by itself, I divide both sides by 36. And then x is going to equal 12. So 8 over 8 plus 12, or 8 over 20, is the same proportion as 36 over 90. And simply you can just divide those two just to verify. So 8 divided by 20 is 0 0.4, and 36 over 90 is also 0 0.4. So setting these equal to each other, both sides need to equal the same number. So we get 0.4 on the left and 0.4 on the right. So that means our answer is correct. So I hope this video helped you understand how to solve problems on ACT that deal with proportions. And remember to check out our other videos in our ACT math playlist. Thanks.